The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live. Locally owned community-based news. Free to every reader. Because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live. Our state. Our news. Our home. And welcome down Old North Road in Camden, Delaware. As the Hendelman Conference Northern Division title will be decided tonight. Or maybe not. The number one ranked Sussex Central Golden Knights put their 19-0 record on the line against the number three ranked Caesar Rodney Riders at 10-1. A win for the Knights, and they claim the outright North title for the first time since 2011. Should the Riders win, it would force a three-way tie for the championship with Sussex Central and Cape and Lopen. But a victory by seven or more by the Riders tonight, and Caesar Rodney, who last won the North title in 2012, would take the crown. Allow me to bring in my color commentator, color analyst for tonight, Paul Collier, the former Brown University wrestler, as well as three-time assistant coach of the year here at Caesar Rodney. Paul, a dream matchup for wrestling fans on the last week of the season. Not only the Hennepin title on the line, but the history of Sussex Central and Caesar Rodney, two teams that have decided championships many times over the years. Yeah, I remember a few of those matches. I remember kicking a few chairs, too, uh, <laughs> especially down at Sussex Central. Sometimes the calls don't go against you. Right. go against you, but uh, yeah, as you said, it's a dream matchup. Both teams virtually unblemished. Um, Sussex Central, very impressive, 19-0. That is a tremendous dual meet record, and uh, I got a chance to watch them at the uh, Canal Classic earlier in the year, and they're a very, very strong team, very physical team. I was very impressed with their performance. And, of course, uh, Caesar Rodney, they've been doing their best wrestling. Their one loss earlier in the year, but they're wrestling their best right now when it counts. Now, uh, the Golden Knights have been dominant this year. They have, they've amassed a 19-0 record. Recently, they've run the gauntlet with wins over Cape and Lopen, Smyrna, Caraval, and Salazanum over the past two weeks. Now, they're led by Malachi Stratton, their number one ranked 113-pounder and the defending state champ. Sussex Central, Paul, they are tough, top to bottom of that lineup, and they are an experienced team. Six-year head coach Shane Miller, a 2010 graduate of Sussex Central, he took over the reins from longtime coach uh, Phil Schulte, and he finds his team tonight in the big match. Yeah, that, Coach Miller's doing a great job, and he's got a tremendous staff uh, behind him there in the Sussex Central room. Uh, I got them, you know, kind of slightly favored tonight, even though it might be 5-5 in terms of matches. There's four toss-ups. But I, I give the Knights a slight edge this evening over the Riders, they unfortunately, a, for Rider Nation. Sure, they have a lot of uh, senior leadership on this team. Uh, first year, Cesar Rodney head coach Trey Mitchell as well, an alum of the program. He's, he's uh, the program he heads up. He is a 2012 graduate of Caesar Rodney and has spent seven years as an assistant to Dan Rigby before taking over this season. Seniors Alec Mac Alex McAvoy, Cody Waski, Cam Cataldi are the guys that have to lead the way for this young rider lineup tonight. Paul, how many betting men do you think at the beginning of the year had Caesar Rodney at 10-1 coming into this match? Yeah, probably not many. They not thought many. they'd have a few more losses. Uh, but they, they're, Coach Mitchell's doing a great job. And as you said, uh, they have a well-balanced team, but the senior leadership, it's really their time to perform tonight. They're going to need those bonus points from those seniors who are used to this type of intense environment. And as the nice Caesar Rodney, they have competed as well. They, over the last two weeks, is beating some of the same teams, Slazianum, Smyrna, Caraval, in their last three outings, Slazianum and Caraval probably being considered upsets. Yes, and, uh, but they were well-earned victories. I mean, the Riders, we were here uh, last week against Caraval. Right. Uh, that's the best I saw them wrestle all year. It was right. really uh, – what you were planning for, a close match, and they really took that and ran, ran with it. A lot of ranked wrestlers in this tonight. I think we have one, two, three, four, five. Five matchups between ranked wrestlers tonight. Uh, a couple of number ones, or Malachi Stratton's number one. Um, I think he's the only one in the line. Copes is a two, so Alex McAvoy is a two. Uh, the match is going to start at 132 pounds tonight, and that's a matchup where Talon Savage, he is 2-1 and one versus Nate Moore this year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a back-and-forth match. Um, the one place the Riders really got to shave some points is probably 175 through 215. Mm -hmm. uh, if their guys can stay up their backs, limit bonus points, the Riders will have a great chance to win. If Sussex Central favored in those upper weights, if they can get the bonus points, they'll probably come out on top. 
And the Riders getting ready to come on the man, Paul. This is a year where we get to uh, the Final Four in Division One. There's no room for mistakes uh, when they get to Smyrna no, in, in two weeks. Every point will count here. And um, you know, this, it's great to get the conf conference title, but the one you really want is the dual-meet state title. That's absolutely. So, so Caesar Rodney getting ready to come out onto the mat for their warm-up. The crowd is filling in. Uh, talk to Bob Ron because they do tickets ahead of time here, and uh, he's expecting it close to a sellout. Yeah, it's, we talked about the difficulty of getting tickets, but it is a fantastic crowd here this evening. A uh, few more spaces to fill in, but it's probably 92% full, I'd say, Bunny. Right. The, uh, talking about these two coaches being alum of their program, they know what this match means. They've been in these before. You know, 2010, 2011, 2012, it was Sussex Central and Cesar Rodney with a little bit of Smyrna starting to make the run there. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're new to your freshman or you're new to the program, uh, these are two coaches that can tell you what this match is all about. Yeah, Coach M Mitchell and Coach Miller can draw on their experience and really help their athletes uh, through there and really calm their nerves to make sure that their athletes perform their best this evening. Folks, we're going to take a commercial timeout. And uh, as the riders warm up on the mat, you're watching Delaware Live, powered by 302 Sports. I'm Paul. Excuse me. I'm Benny Mitchell. He's Paul Collier. Kristen Mitchell and Ethan Minshaw on the camera tonight. We'll be back with some Henlip and Conference wrestling action. The last match of the season in the North. We'll be right back. For over 15 years, our company has been building homes in Sussex County, Delaware. We offer a completely comprehensive program for our customers that makes building a new home enjoyable. At Capstone Homes, we have access to lots in our amazing communities or through our realtor partners. Visit with our team of professionals for a completely comprehensive experience. We can handle absolutely every part of building a new home for you and your family. Create your new home. Create a Capstone Home. For over Hi, I'm 15 Scott Cameron, president of Sodell Concepts, the best restaurant group in the state, and we're inviting you to come join our team. Sodell Concepts is a growing hospitality company with 16 restaurants and a variety of other hospitality businesses, all located in beautiful Southern Delaware. We have recently added many departments to our executive leadership team, including a training department, a property development department, and a construction department. We invite you to come live at the beach and work with a growing restaurant group with many opportunities to advance your career. Soto Concepts Restaurant Group, come check us out. Hi, I'm Scott. We've been serving the Eastern Shore since 2015. We're all about bringing you fresh quality ingredients. We do fresh pasta, panini, soups and salads. We try to be all inclusive, vegan, gluten free options. We do a little bit of something for everybody. In the summertime, we make a little over 200 pounds of pasta a day. You can come in and buy fresh pasta. You can bring it home. We're doing curbside pickup right now. A lot of take to go. We even have DoorDash if you need it delivered to you. We like to bring you good food fast and not fast food. Here at Griffin Mac, we've been serving the Eastern Shore since 2000. At Barclay Heating and Air, we're dedicated to keeping your home comfortable year-round. Family owned and operated, we provide trusted residential heating and cooling services to customers across Central Delaware. Our experienced technicians offer reliable maintenance and repairs on all major brand HVAC systems. From air conditioners and ductless systems to heat pumps and furnaces, we also sell and install top quality units. No matter your needs, we're committed to getting the job done right with honest and timely service you can count on. Invested in our community, we're proud to help families in more ways than one, sponsoring and donating to many local programs and organizations throughout the area for dependable HVAC services. Give us a shout or a bark at Barkley Heating and Air. First State Orthopedic Statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. 
We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments, as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Fish On in the villages of Five Points. Come check us out. Fish On is committed to serving beautiful, simple coastal cuisine in a cool atmosphere with a happening bar, spacious dining room, and outside patio. Popular dishes include the seafood stew and fresh oysters from the raw bar. Fish On's recently renovated event room and is the perfect spot for your next event. Fish On and Lewis in the villages of Five Points open seven days a week, best happy hour around. See you soon. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Fish On in the villages of Five Points. Come check us out. Fish On is committed to serving beautiful, simple coastal cuisine in a cool atmosphere with a happening bar, spacious dining room, and outside patio. Popular dishes include the seafood stew and fresh oysters. And welcome back to Caesar Rodney High School. Benny Mitchell and Paul Collier here. Paul, already some gamesmanship, some showmanship. The Knights come out and stand on the edge of the mat for the warm-up. And Cam Cataldi does the back, hand, the back flip in front of him. Right in front of the lineup. <laughs> and i got to say that the... Central guys look very intense. They look yes. very focused this evening. So we are going to cut our mics and get the starting lineups. Thank you. 
Looking to stay cool this summer? At Barclay Heating and Air, we're dedicated to keeping your home comfortable year round. Family owned and operated, we provide trusted residential heating and cooling services to customers across Central Delaware. Our experienced technicians offer reliable maintenance and repairs on all major brand HVAC systems. From air conditioners and ductless systems to heat pumps and furnaces, we also sell and install top quality units. No matter your needs, we're committed to getting the job done right with honest and timely service you can count on. Invested in our community, we're proud to help families in more ways than one, sponsoring and donating to many local programs and organizations throughout the area for dependable HVAC services. Give us a shout or a bark at Barclay Heating and Air. Our company has been building homes in Sussex County, Delaware. We offer a completely comprehensive program for our customers that makes building a new home enjoyable. At Capstone Homes, we have access to lots in our amazing communities or through our realtor partners. Visit with our team of professionals for a completely comprehensive experience. We can handle absolutely every part of building a new home for you and your family. Create your new home. Create a Capstone Home. For over 15 years, our company has been building homes in Sussex County, Delaware. And welcome back to Caesar Rodney High School. Benny Mitchell, Paul Kyer, referee Kenny Krieger has agreed to wear the microphone tonight. Yeah, nice feature. Right, gentlemen, both teams have had their pre-meet speech. Any questions for me at this time? Wrestlers, I ask that you keep your teams at the bench or behind. Coaches, I ask that your forward line, the yellow line just forward on the bench. CR, you're going to be green. Central, you're going to be red. Odd or even? Odd. All right, good luck. So Caesar Rodney Green wins the toss. Odd number matches. Odd number matches. And they're going to take odd. They always critical if you get the uh, choice. It can make the difference if you're going to bump the lineup around a little bit, betting these big goals. How big is this match? Phil Schulte walked in right before the uh, national anthem. Yeah, Delaware coaching royalty right, right. by our uh, table here, Matt's side. So Nick Moore's on the mat. This is who the riders gonna, or the Knights are going to send out. Looks like he's going to be Talon Savage. And here comes Talon Savage. These two have met three times this year. Savage winning this last two, Moore winning the first. This is one of those toss-up matches we talk about. Really can determine the outcome of the whole thing. Put on line, shake hands. Set. Well, here we go, underway, starting at 132 pounds. More attempting a headlock there, and Savage goes right behind and gets the takedown. Yeah, nice little duck there by Savage, and nice not return for the two. Neutral. Folks, remember your team score to the left of the logos match score to the right of the wrestlers names we're at 132 pounds first match of the night Henlopen and North title on the line for these two teams both wrestlers dead center of the mat more blocks on looking for that little dump Their first two matches, Paul, were pretty close. Uh, both of them decisions, and then at the uh, Warren Shore, Savage able to open it up and get a couple sets of backs and, and win a major decision. More a little bit offensive here to start this bout. Right. Savage happy to counterattack. 44 seconds. We have clock tonight on our scoreboard. What I like about these two guys, Paul, they've been in that 10-foot circle the whole time. Improve. Both, both wrestlers really keep good position. Yeah. And 
Good position on the mat as well, as you said, centered well. This place is packed and loud tonight. Uh, take down for Savage. He big, goes up four to one. Big score there at the end of the period. Let's see if we can get Keep the ride legal. out here, Benny. Keep that legal. Stalemate. Green down. So stalemate with four seconds to go in the period. Green, you're down facing me. Top hold. Yeah, real opportunity for Moore here to try to get try one. Try to get one, yeah. For this Bottom period. Set. Bottom hold that position. Top cover. And the first period is going to end four to one for Talon Savage. As we move to the second period. Green to first, red. Red takes neutral, second period. And Savage will go to his feet. He's got the two takedowns. Wait on me, guys. So. Wait on me. Wait on me. Yep, he knows Moore is very tough on top, so well scouted by the coaching staff. Good decision there by Savage. Four to one, first match of the night. Kenny Krieger having to implement the ankle bands as both teams in blue and gold, almost identical uniforms. Oh, Moore in on a shot, low angle, low single. Let's see if we can get the angle here and finish it, Benny. Savage with a little bit of a rubber knee there. Nice shin wizard is applying. And we'll bring it up mid-level. Brings that wizard up, looking to throw off of it. Who's going to win this battle here? And Savage gets the takedown. Yeah. Savage a little bit stronger. Yeah, but as I mentioned, uh, Central seemed very physical when I watched yeah. him wrestle earlier in the season, their whole team. Nice little bear hug uh, finish off that duck under. And One more three. able to escape. Makes it a 6-2 six, six match. Neutral. Under a minute to go here. 6-2, center of the mat. That's what these two guys have kept it at the dead center. Yeah, great great wrestling by both wrestlers. As you said, Benny, they've been centered the whole match. A lot of shot attempts by Moore. Let's see if he can wrestle out of this uh, position underneath. Improve! Savage trying to free up his right elbow so he can try to score in this front headlock situation. Yeah, we're going to notice Taylor. I think this match right now for, for CR would be a steal. Uh, I think Coach Mitchell would be happy with anything in decision. Yeah, it was a, a toss-up match. Uh, probably slight favor, as you said, to uh, Savage. But Moore's in on a... That's Savage sorry, in. It's hard Savage to tell these singles. In, in on the ankle. And Moore likes to wrestle here, so let's see if he can uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat here with 10 right. seconds to go. Improve! No control. And we'll take it into the green, third, period. third period. Green. I think Moore's got to probably pick top here. Is it? Green oh, takes gonna five. Go third put him period. Down. Okay. Guys, there's no cautions, no warnings. All right, no stall warnings, no cautions. Go ahead and get set. Bottom. Six top two hold, lead top here hold. for Talon Savage. Bottom, hold that position. Top cover. And we're underway in the third period. Talon Savage on top with a six-two lead. Savage with a cross elbow here, riding it, trying to screw the leg in. Looks like running on this near side. Goes to a two on one now, looking to tilt. Okay. Load him up. One! And unable to get a one count. Just a one count. <laughs> 30 seconds gone here in the third period. Savage with a boot in on the left side. He's applying a good ride, but more he can wrestle out of, as you said, he can wrestle out of every position. Right. Let's see if he can counter his legs and maybe reverse Savage here. He had a nice, uh, didn't get the call, but had a late, what looked like to be a reversal against Radicke on Friday night, the two-time state champ. I thought it was probably Moore's best match of the season. And here, there he disengages. Savage a high here. Dead center of the mat. The six here would be a big, oh, that big would be turnaround huge. this bout. He got the pin. But Nathan Moore, the freshman with the fall. 
And this place is losing its mind, Paul Collier. It's bonkers now. That was a big uh, turn of events there. As we said, Moore can wrestle at any position. He's dangerous from the bottom, just as well as he is on top. What a turn of events in that match. Hey, hey. Dixon and Craig, Justin Craig for Sussex Central. What a last shake hands. Craig in on a high crotch. And pulls the elbow, gets the two to Dixon. Hey, nice counter wrestling there by Dixon. And uh, early on in the match, everything seems to be going the Riders' way here. Right. And there's an escape for Craig. Yeah, nice sit out and turn in technique by the central wrestler. Work center. Craig in on another shot. Under a minute to go here in the first period. Improve. Improve. Thirty-two to go here. Yeah, Dixon really just wants to get a stalemate here. He's starting to lose the advantage. That nice shot that he had. Craig switched it out to, it uh, looks like a little reinforced bar there. 20 seconds to go. That's Craig's best shot right there, is the, or excuse me, Dixon is to keep him off the mat so he can't go behind. Yep, Dixon did a nice job correcting that funk, and he may, may be able to score here again. Short time here, Benny. Five seconds. He does. Take down for Craig Dixon. And that's the end of the first period. Red. Top off neutral to fur. Red takes bottom, second period. So Craig will go down in the second period. Dixon top with the 4 1 lead. Top hold, top hold. Bottom set. Be really good, hold all in all, good period cover. for Dixon there, being able to finish on top mm -hmm. with that late takedown. Go green. Craig, good job. That was a quick, explosive move. But Craig able to get behind and follow both times. Yeah, Central's always had a good uh, sit out turn in series, high turn series. And so Craig's coming to his feet now. One red. That's going to be escape for Dick or uh, Craig, and it's we're neutral. Forty-two. These names are messing me up. It's Justin Craig and Craig Dixon. <laughs> Thank goodness isn't Craig Craig. Yeah, 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 really. In there. 4-2 here in the second period. Greg Dixon of the Riders with the lead. The both wrestlers here is also doing a nice job staying centered. Another nice leg attack by Dixon. Craig's got him stretched this out here This time he now. stretches him out, yeah. <laughs> See if Dixon can get his knees under him and recover here. Let's wrestle through this position. Wrestle through. Dixon had his head under. If he can get his knees underneath his uh, torso, there's a stalemate, Benny. And we're going to stalemate with 48 seconds to go. Shot by Craig from distance. Trying to drive through it. Let's see what kind of defense uh, Dixon has now. Yeah, this is how he scored the first time, right from this position here. Pull the elbow, far elbow, and the foot. Close to stepping over that near ankle. Yeah, I just gotta get the Keep hips up. Trap. No control here. No control. Craig working a little little fireman's dump here. No control. 
See if Dixon can throw the legs in over top. 12 seconds to go. Two. He's got one in there, Benny. No Needs to get that second one in and arches back. No control, improve, no control. No control. Craig trying to work his way out the back door. And, and Dixon was saved by the bell there, Benny. He holds him off, we'll go to the third period. 4-2 lead by Craig Dixon, and he's going to go bottom. That score's correct. There's no warnings. No warnings. All right. No cautions. Yeah, we had this match pegged as a straight-up toss-up. Yeah, absolutely. It is a, it yeah. is a, it is a tight bout. Top cover. Stop. Tom, back off. I got a caution. Hey, you're hooking that, or you're hooking that arm, all right? Come behind. Behind the elbow. Behind. Bottom set. Hold. Communication is the key to officiating, Paul Kyer. Yeah, it's good, good instructions by referee Ken Krieger tonight. Can't blame Dixon for trying to get a little advantage. Man, he's going to get a locked hands here. Yep. Stop. I got technical violation. Locked hands. One. Hey, you're here, all right? You came here. You came here with it. You came here. Set. Yeah, just, just glanced, and that's that's the rule. If they touch, top, even top. for a split second, that's a locked hand. Yeah, on the top. Uh, Takedowns, you do get reaction time, not when you're already on top. Comes to his Easy feet. There. Easy there. Easy there. Looking to hit on the hand fight here. Craig drops down to the leg. And yeah, nice mat position. return there with that double, dropping to the double there. See if Dixon can get back up to his feet again. Had a nice quick stand up after the whistle. 5 2 lead for Craig Dixon and Cesar Rodney. The Riders lead the duel 6 to 0. Red and proof. Red and proof. And Dixon gets the escape. Neutral. 6-2 lead for Craig Dixon. Hey, Dixon in good position here. Uh, just keep good good position and movement. He can look to score defensively because Craig's going to have to come after him. Craig coming in on double leg, but doesn't get the head to the outside. Dixon able to get the, get the weight on the back of his neck. Hey, Dixon digging his toes in the mat. It's letting Craig yeah, let improve his go. position. Yes. Very sliding now. Well, you want to keep your laces to the mat there when you're in Dixon's position. Just slide back and extend the attacker. Under a minute to go here in the third period, and we're going to get a stalemate. Center, guys, center. Let's go, Red. Forty-nine to go. Keep those hands legal. Keep them legal in there. Another shot by Craig. This time he's able to bring it up and his head to the outside. Yeah, showing a little bit of muscle there. Bringing that leg in, but Dixon did a nice job, but extended him on the secondary attempt. 30 to go here in the third period. Yep. Dixon should not bend that near knee. He, he could have scored there if he extends the, that right, the laces right leg. Right. Oh, he's going to get the takedown here. That's two. And some backs. Nice job fighting off his back, saving yeah. some points, but excellent win by Dixon. Absolutely, eight to two. Good job, good job. Check him out, check him out. So that's going to move us to 144 as Cesar Rodney takes a 9-0 lead in the duel. So everything going CR's way so far, Paul. Yeah, this is going to be an important bout for the Knights to get uh, the momentum turned around here. So match their favorite in. Yep, they got the man to do it here. Andrew Long. Yep, 34 and 7. Very impressive record and uh, a senior, so plenty of experience in this type of environment. And Jackson Cop of the Riders. And here we go, underway at 144. Again, a match where CR just wants to limit the damage, I think. Yep. Oh. Yeah, cops just want to keep good position, keep it close, give himself a chance. Long's really got to get after it, and looks Going like he's starting to. Here. Mixer and gets it. Kind of ran it the other direction, but it worked. Now he's trying to get a two-on-one tilt here. 
See if Cobb can free that wrist up underneath. He's hand fighting under there. Yeah, we're gonna go with the One, two, hazard tilt. Three, four, holding two, holding two red. Holding Real, two real red. nice technique there by Long. Red, I'm holding two. Really good tilt position. Two red. And Long gets the two. He's up four to zero. Near fall. They're trying to work an arm bar here. A reinforced bar. Kind of lost both, but Cop be kind of happy just to hang out by the edge there, shave a little time. Right. Under maybe, maybe get one here at the end of the period. 45 to go here. Cop one, gets three. the escape. Work center. Work center. Four Two, to one three. for Andrew Long. Long ranked number three in the Delaware Live rankings at 144 pounds. Cop is that guy right on the edge looking to get in to the rankings. Yeah, we could do so with a victory tonight. That's right, absolutely. Arm, up, uh, arm drag by Cobb. Gets the leg, but Long just too quick getting the hips away. Long, tremendous all-state running back for the Sussex Central Golden Knights. Yeah, nice attack by Cobb, but see that strength and physicality of Long at work there. Green, choice. Green, top bottom to the first. And Cops going to defer. Red takes bottom, second period. So we move to the second period. Long going to go on bottom. Cop does have a good tilt series. Top hold, top hold. Saw that Friday night against uh, Jamar hold, Wells position, where he tilted him up in the third period. One red. And a quick escape for Andrew Long. He goes up 5-1. Yeah, real explosive move right off the whistle by Long. Let's see if Cop can get his takedowns going. Long. Really wants to get on the takedowns himself and stay aggressive because the Knights are looking for bonus here. Cop gets to the leg, but just too quick. Long's too quick getting the hips away. Goes quarter Nelson. And he's going to just go behind and get the takedown. Yeah, real nice technique. A lot of pressure and then misdirection to spin behind. 7 1 lead for Andrew Long. One green. And as I said, that cop gets the escape. The cop staying on his attack. I'm yeah, impressed yes. with that, Benny. He said Long just a little bit quick and as a reaction time. A little strong, a little more shots. athletic. Two-sport athlete. See if Cop can climb that arm there. You really want to keep a I nice nice there. control of the ties to slow down an athlete like Long. Right. 45 to go. Over under position. Work center. That makes both sides Work coaching staff nervous, man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Gets him back to the center. Shot by Cobb, looking to dump. See if he can climb this. He's deep. Great hips by Andrew Long. Last double there by Long. Really Here's nice technique. Take now looking to build that major with a period to go. Green, your choice, third period, Green. That'll move us to the third period. Green takes bottom, third period. Red, stay in center. Center. Cops got to go down. Bottom set. Red, back to the center. Red, to the center. Don't go back over there. Set. Top, cover. And long covers, and there we go. Third period, 9-2 lead. So a point away from a major for Andrew Long. Long trying a hazard or a reinforced bar series, whatever he can get there. Cops really got to free that wrist up underneath so it doesn't give up another near fall exposure. Goes, let's go the rest. Goes to lock up a cradle. Cop able to get to his feet. Nice return by Long. Cop, good job getting right up. Uh, Long's got him broken down flat here. Right. See. I can't see it. No, he does not have a reinforced. Yep. Just a bar arm here. Nice job limping out of that by Cop. Comes right. back to his feet again mm -hmm. and gets the escape. 9-3 yeah. here in the third period at 144 pounds. 
So just a regular decision right now as it stands. We've got about a minute to go in the bout. Oh, Kopp with the duck under and the takedown. Yeah. Really nice attack by Kopp. And here he is with his tilt series. He's got the reinforced bar. Definitely has two. One, two, three. Hold it two. Hold it two. Hold it two. Two, three. And got his two. two. Nine, seven. Near fall. Another two-pointer will tie this bout. Three would win it, Benny. Work to improve. Work to improve. Both guys. Fifteen to go. Long doing a good job good keeping that left wrist free. And that's just gonna end 9-7 for Andrew Long. So the Knights get on the board, make it nine to three. Yeah, Long did his job. He stopped the uh, momentum of the riders, but I I think with that six point lead, I mean the coaching staff really wanted a major out of him. Sure. Cop with a great comeback, almost stole that bout. It's going to move us to 150 pounds. We're going to see Cody Waski, number two in the state, versus number five in the state, Jaden Drummond. Put on shake hands. The riders really want to, the next two bouts, look to extend their lead here. Right. Waski, normally a slow starter, but tonight comes right out. Doesn't get the takedown. Nice deep double. He's going to finish it here, buddy. Green, you're in control. Green. Easy there. Keep that legal. Keep that legal. Not there. Close to a near fall there. count here. Not there. One. A really nice three. high pirouette by Drummond to counter that right. near fall attempt by Waski. First of the minute to go here in the first period. Waski, a funky type wrestler. He's, you know, he's kind of good in all positions. You know, he can pin you from. Still green, no change. Still green, no change. Too bad. And there's a reversal for Drummond. Reversal. And we're two to two. Under a minute to go in the first period. And believe it or not, this is where Waski's dangerous, being underneath somebody. Drummond with a nice cradle right now. It's pretty tight. Let's see if Waski can worm his way out of this, Benny. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it three. Hold it three. That was close. Yes. Very close to a fall there. Yep. One, two. Drummond's still in good position here. And Drummond gets the fall, and they tie it up at 150. Nine, nine. This is why these duels are so great. Momentum's just shifted. That's and right. Now it's loud on the central side of the gym. Which is our side. <laughs> nine to nine. <laughs> so out comes Cam Cataldi. And this will be Layfield for the Knights. Now Cataldi in the position that Long was in for Central a couple of matches ago. He's got to stem this uh, momentum that Sussex Central has. Absolutely. And get a win for the Riders here, hopefully with some bonus. These two had one meeting at the uh, Ray Oliver. Uh, Cataldi getting a tech ball early in the season. Layfield with a huge pin against the Lazy Animal on Saturday afternoon. They're underway at 157.
All tied up at nine. Shot by Layfield. And Underhook is able to pull him back up as for Cousin Cataldi. Work center. Work center. And Cataldi gets done a low single. Green, gets green. the takedown. You're in control. Green, you're yeah, in control. Real nice reshot there by Cataldi. Scoring the takedown. Go Layfield's green. looking for an ankle switch here. Get that Cataldi legal. right Get in that the legal. legs. Two zero, Cam Cataldi. So that pin by Drummond is going to put CR in a position where they might have to steal one somewhere down yeah, the road. Right, kind of right where we thought we'd legal. be, just not how we expected to get exactly. there. Exactly. Cataldi with a nice bar arm here, running it hard. Three. A la Pat four. Santoro. Ah, hold it three, hold it three. Three, three. And it's three back for Cataldi. He goes up 5-0 here with 35 to go in the first period. Said so Cataldi can be a scoring machine when it gets it going, buddy. Past two three. duels, he's had some big pins for the Riders. Stop, we're and out. we go out of bounds. Red, you're down. 19 Better. seconds on the restart. Be a big point here if uh, Layfield can get, a, get an escape in this last I'm 19 set. seconds. You're watching Delaware Live, powered by 302 Bottom Sports. Bottom hold that position, top cover. We're in Camden, Delaware for the what could be the Henlopen Conference Championship. Switch attempt by Layfield. And as I could tell, he's going to be able to ride him out and take a 5-0 lead into the second period. Hey, he's looking to score here, buddy. <laughs> Gets the pin. So Cataldi with the big pin. We call that the, we call that the answer. That is, uh, that's how you stem momentum. That was a little bit of a surprise. That, not surprised that he scored near fall, but the fall. The two seconds to go in the third. Yeah, exactly. 15-19 in favor of the Riders. That's going to move us to 165. A quick night at the office there for Cataldi. He's going to get up the bat. Get some recovery time. This is like Nate Leg for the Riders. And Justin Craig. A lot of Craigs in this match tonight. To run away at 165, the Riders with a 15 9 lead. Riders come in a slight underdog in the duel. Yeah, that's the way I saw it. Just going on analytics and common results. You'd favor maybe Central by three points or so. But I tell you what, Paul, no matter what happens, this is the last match. Anything could change when we get to the state duels in, in a week. Yeah, in a lot of ways, it's you want to win the duel, that's for sure. Right. But you're also trying to learn for the next time you may face off against each other. And I'm talking about Slaziana for one is – 0-2 oh so far against CR and Central, but they're going to be a tough out in the tournament. Oh, absolutely. Sally's, Cape, Penn, they're all looking to make their adjustments. Top hole, top hole. Try to take the title of there. Smyrna. Top cover. 2-0 lead for Nate Leg. Craig Abel is sit and turn. Still green, no change, still green. Leg. Green, you're still in control, still green. Well, Benny, this is the one of one we had it circled as a, as a toss-up. Total toss-up, yeah. So any extra points here would be huge toward the uh, team calls. And Craig A will turn into a double leg and some backs. One, two, three, four, five. And gets the pin for the Golden Knights. All tied up again. Come back, guys, come back. Let me get that ankle band, please. Yeah, back and forth we go. Here, here we go. <laughs> we don't want to get too excited as announcers, but the fans are going wild here. They are going nuts all over the gym. And that's going to bring us to 175. And this is central stretch here. 
Yeah, this is where they're strong. They're looking to get massive bonus points in these next three bouts. And it's going to be uh, hold on one second. This is uh, Gabe Cannon. Gabe Cannon ranked number four in the state up against Owen Dixon. Cannon right on the leg attack and two points on the board. And looking to run the wrist in the bar. Keep that legal. Keep that legal. Yeah, kind of really driving that bar hard here. Keep it legal. Keep it legal. Working a half here. He's got the big cookie in, Benny. One of your favorite holes in it. Yes, it is. Love it. Usually a match ender. Keep it legal. After this bout, we're going to have the uh, Surf Bagel trivia question. And got the wrist and the bar again, approaching a minute to go here in the first period. Yeah, back to the bar here. Trying to grind, grind a little bit of uh, resistance out of Dixon here. Keep that legal. Work to improve, work to score. Both guys, both guys. Keep that legal. Stop, stop. Hey, with that, with that elbow pops, all right. Don't, don't run that. Don't run that forward. So potentially call dangerous. Back. Called by Green set. Kenny Krieger. Top cover. And we'll restart with 39 seconds. Stop. Caution. Maybe. <laughs> Just wait for my whistle, all right? Good. Take a breath. Take a breath. Set. You can a little cover. jumpy there. He's ready to get after that bar again. Right. And twists it to a half. One, two, three, four. It's pretty tight there, Benny. Good yeah. 23 seconds to go. Dixon can fight this off. Survive in a second period. Four seconds to go here. Gets the cradle, the cradle, basket cradle, and we're going to see if it was the fire right to the buzzer. Stay right here. Stay here. Stay in the center. It's close. I think it might it count. Close. It might have been point one left on that clock, Ben. Point one. What did you guys have? Hmm? Do you have buzzer or no? I had point one on the clock. Yeah, you had point one. I had point one on the clock. Ball's good. So they get the fall. And that's going to move us to 190. As we said, this is uh, sort of Central's murderer's row here. But if we take a baseball analogy from the 27 yes. Yankees, and this is where they want to get some massive bonus points racked up. Ivan Neal for the bite for the Knights. And Jalen Kennedy. So two two seniors facing off here for the last time in this regular season. Game. And we're underway at 190. The Knights now with a 21-15 lead. Take down for Neal, 2-0. Neal looking for a hazard turn himself here. You don't see it too often in these upper weights. Neal ranked number four in the state. He's 39 and 38 and seven this year. Yeah, some real impressive win totals for these yes. central wrestlers. A lot of, lot of matches rest, a lot of experience this year. Ivan Neal also a football player for the Golden Knights, linebacker and offensive lineman. Keep it legal. I don't think I'd want to tangle with him on a <laughs> football field no. or wrestle on that. Keep it legal. Yeah. 
Neal with a half looking to lift that near leg. See if he can turn Kennedy so it looks over. Like the, looks like Meister. the Riders are going to move uh, Meister up to 215 to take on Robinson. Got the cradle locked up on the near side. Yeah, just got to get that hip in the, in the head and the hip and see if he can score with this. Kennedy pushing the knees away. The head's still a little bit high there. You know, needs to put it in the hip. Still got time to score with this technique. Kennedy doing a nice job fighting, fighting off. Fighting as it is. A lot of uh, very muscular attacks up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Fight to stay in here. Fight to stay in. Still red. Still red. So for the first time in a few bounce balls, they were going to make it to a second period. Yep. Yep. Kennedy did a great job fighting off bar arms, halves, and cradles. Red, your choice. Red. Red. Top bottom neutral to the fur. Red to first. Green. Green takes neutral, second period. So Jalen Kennedy. Right here, guys, in the center. Takes neutral. Set. And run away in the second period. Keep those hands. 2 legal. lead Keep for Ivan Neal and the Golden Knights. They lead the duel 21 15. Also on the line, Paul, is first seed in the upcoming state duels. The winner of this probably takes first seed. Yeah, it's going to be a tough road to go anywhere you're seated, but you'd like to have that number one seed. And Maybe make your path slightly easier. You hope. But there's a lot of tough teams in that Division One. 4-0 lead for Ivan Neal. <laughs> 190, hard to ascend to the top with uh, Justin Griffith of Sanford up there, the two-time state champion, four-time finalist. But that's why we get inside the circle in, uh, in March 3rd and 4th, right? Yeah, looking forward to that individual tournament. Give him the release. Far to one Neutral. lead for Ivan Neal. Yeah, Neal looking to build build his lead with the takedowns. Coach didn't want him to waste a lot of time there on the mat, not scoring any near fall. They believe he can score on his feet. And the way this with two upsets already, you want to get every bonus point you can right now. Riders pull up easy, nice easy. upset at 32 and then. The Knights at, two, not, uh, uh, one, 50. Two. One, two, three, four, hold it two, hold it two. Hold it two red, I'm holding two. Yeah, two and two I'm there. Two. Kennedy kind of put himself in that position. Yeah, he kind of got a little excited. And, but nice duck by Neil, and Kennedy did a great Careful. job fighting off his back there. Looks like we're going to go to the third period in this one, Benny. There we go. Choice, third period. So that us to the third got? period Talk at 190. You, you want neutral? Red takes neutral. Neil will take neutral here to start the third. On the line, guys. We're in the third. Set. The Kennedy may be down, but he's really doing his job for the Riders. Right. He's, he's got to tell himself that and stay positive and stay in position, try to shave some time off here. He's wrestling really hard tonight. Really good effort by the senior. A little slide by attempt by Neil. Neil looking to put him under. Let's see if he snaps him. Nice job by Kennedy fighting that off. Neil digging double unders here. Looking for a throw. Gets the takedown and the back count again. And he gets the foul. 27-15 lead for the Golden Knights. That moves us to 215 pounds. We should see uh, Ryder Robinson for the Vikings, or for, I keep calling them the Vikings, for the Knights. And Owen Meister for Caesar Rodney. And yeah, Meister bumping up, trying to do They met do his at Ray Oliver, team. with Robinson getting the pin. Put on lock, take And Robinson goes right for that over under. He likes to come in and hit a lat drop right away. Good hips there by Robinson. Two, three, 
four, five, hold it three. And gets three, the three crack. back. Good fight by Meister underneath there. Good Robinson's ball. right after again. Got a cross, cross elbow, looking to score again here, Benny. Score, score again. Not there. You're not there. You're not there. You're not there. Not there. Normally you would call that an ill-advised lap drop, but he seemed to get it and get it over. He was caught there for a split second yeah. on his back, but great hips to pop Meister through. Not there. That's been his move all season. To stop him, you have to stop that. Yeah, I think I'd lower my level if I wrestled him. Right. I wouldn't want to tie up. <laughs> Robinson was one of our uh, top plays in the uh, Delaware Live top plays this year with a p uh, eight second pin. Guess what he hit it with? Lat drop. The lat drop. <laughs> And now he's got a power half on the left side. Yeah, it's some kind of version of a mousetrap he's got here. Yeah. Must doing a good job fighting out of it. Red. Red, still in control. 20 Red, seconds to go control. here in the first period, Benny. On the edge at 215 pounds, the Knights with a 27-15 lead. And Meister going to get a reversal late. Reversal. Then they get five to two. Yeah, good wrestling by Meister there on the edge. Yeah. He'd been in a bad position for a minute and 50 seconds. Green, your choice, Green. Green to first, Red. What do you got, Red? Talk to me. Red takes neutral. Well, there's Center, a surprise. <laughs> I'm definitely going right neutral here. too if I'm Ryder Robinson. It's got over 20 pounds. Ryder Meister, I might just shoot in on him and uh, keep it low. Yeah. Keep it low. No tie ups. There it is. Gets it on a single, a switches to a to double, finish, yeah. nothing yet. Real, nice cross finish. Real, real high level technique there by Meister. 5-4 lead for Owen Meister. Has a cradle of his own. One, two, I got two. Meister with two backs. Two green, two green. I got two. Robinson with the reversal. Near Seven, ball, six. Green, no chance, Great action green. for the fans here, Benny. Still green. Absolutely. The whole match has been like this. The whole duel. Still green, no chase. Still green. Keep wrestling. Work through this position. Still green. Second period. Robinson on top. Still he green. needs Two Robinson. Two I have seven six. They have six five. Reversal. That's what they got. Oh, they, they just gave up. the reversal. Robinson okay. a little high. Looks like Meister's coming out the back here, Benny. We're gonna have another lead change here. Two, three. And Meister with two. He goes up eight seven. Reversal. Big guys aren't supposed to three. wrestle like this, Paul. <laughs> they look like three pounders here. Right. <laughs> See if Meister can work something else on top here. Under a minute to go. The Riders desperate need of an upset. Meister's in, put himself in great position to achieve that here. They're really only favored in two out of the next five bouts. Work to improve, work to score. Both guys work to improve, work to score. High four by Meister. Now we're going to go power half on the left side. Work to improve, work to score. Both guys. Bottom, I got a warning. Red. Warning, stalling. Bottom, warning. Hey, Robinson, not showing much legal. action on his bottom. Staying head down. And we go to the third period for the second match in a row. Green takes bottom. And Meister going to take bottom with the 8-7 lead. Red, you have a stall warning, okay? Red, you have a stall warning. Bottom set. Hold. Cover. Great, great camera action. Chris Mitchell and Ethan Minshaw with us tonight. I'm Benny Mitchell. He's Paul Collier. We're at 215 pounds. With the Golden Knights leading 27-15 to 15 over the Riders. And every match has had action. I think it's only been, what, one stall call all night? Just one stall call all yeah. night. Yeah, one morning. Looking to go to that barbed wire. Yep. Let's, get the cross out. Let's see if Meister can get his knees under and square up. He probably would rather have a reversal than an escape. I bet. Um, yes. He's got to watch himself here. He's in a mixer position. Nice slip over. He's and got the ball. by Meister. 
So another upset for the Riders. This match not going as planned. Look at those ankle bands, ankle bands, ankle bands. Hey, ankle bands. There is pandemonium now on the Riders' side of the gym. Well, student section on their feet. Big win by Meister, getting the riders right back in position. Absolutely. It's going to move us to the big guys. 285. It's like Harmon and Pelham. Yeah, Central, slight favorite here, Benny. Harmon, yeah. According to your prognostication. Well, Kellum's, uh, Kellum usually keeps pretty good position. He really battles in there. Hand fights, tries to keep good head position. Harmon a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful. We're at 285 pounds. Probably another one to toss up. Slight, slight favor to the Golden Knights. Callum had a big pin the other night against Carabao, but uh, he's been uh, he's had a rough season. A little bit of a little bit of an excessive club there by right. Hunter, but uh, that's what the fans thought. Yeah. A little bit of a wind up. He landed a soft blow there, though. He that's didn't really right. Him hard. Keep those hands clean. Keep those hands clean in there. Keep it legal. And the heavyweights, you just don't want to make a mistake. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stay in position, bide your time. Don't fall that hip. First one to get over aggressive usually is going to lose in a heavyweight match. Twenty-seven, twenty-one. We've had three upsets, Paul, and they've all been pins. Yeah, fans getting their money's worth here they are. this evening. So are our folks at home. So, folks, while this is going on, we're going to give you the trivia question. Work center. For a $25 gift certificate to the Soto Concepts. You can use it at Surf Bagel, who sponsors this. Easy break. Red. Your choice. Red. Who is the only Red coach to be green. named Henlopen Conference Bottom. Coach of the Year hey, four Ray, consecutive lighter, right? times? Hey, a little lighter on those hands. Keep that legal. A little lighter on those hands. Bottom set. Cover. Zero, zero after one. And Kellum takes bottom position. Who is the only coach to be named outstanding or the uh, coach of the year in the Henlopen Conference four consecutive times? Work to improve, work to score. Both guys, both yep. guys work to improve, work to score. Harmon applying a little bit of that weight advantage right now yep. on Kellum. Looking for an inside wrist on the left side. Both sides winning stall calls. Yeah, maybe a restart here. Harmon is trying to dig a half, but he's still, right. now he's coming out to the side. Now he's back parallel. <laughs> Tough for these guys to move to get that. Yeah, that way that way going. Going. So it breaks the half, now it's in the power half. Kellum needs to slide up and he's going to get the warning call. Warning stalling, bottom. See Kellum building his base there. See if he can come up. A good ankle breakdown, far ankle there by Harmon. Kellum's got to keep trying to build that base. Keep that legal there. Keep that legal. Kenny Krieger right on that cross face. Like yeah, we used to do a knee across throw here. Get your free side knee up and then slide your other knee across to build your base there. You can't push up against all this weight. Work to improve, both guys. Work to improve. 30 seconds. Harmon working hard again, trying to get that other stall call. Central fans really want a second stall here against the rider heavyweight. Yeah. 
Nice sit out. Let's see if he can build his base here. Nope. Ten seconds to go here in the second period. Kellen's got to keep that head up. He might get banged again. And we're going to go 0-0 zero, zero to the third. And Harmon will take bottom. Uh, first we have injury time. Injury red. We have gotten the money's worth. Set, cut time. Your choice, Red, your choice. Trey Mitchell Red coming over to talk to Kenny Krieger about the cross face. So I need some action, all right, I need action. Three, you got a one, right? You got a one. Hold, hold. Trying Set. to see if Kellum can apply right here to Harmon. But Harmon up to his feet. Nice right up to his feet and gets the escape. Yeah, big escape there by Harmon. 1-0 for Mike Harmon. Kelton's got plenty of time. Just really want to uh, just keep working, pummeling for position. No need to try anything rash right now for either wrestler. Center of the mat, minute 25 to go. 1 0 lead for Mike Harmon. The Knights lead the duel 27 21. Yeah, Harmon's doing a good job staying active. He doesn't need to score again. He's ahead by one. Just really kind of waiting out Kellum to see if when Kellum's going to pull the trigger on attack. Keep those hands Keep them clean. Keep those hands clean. Keep them clean in there. Under a minute. Kellum trying to pull the head under. They're both guys still in. Re really impressed with their conditioning. Yeah. Both guys still working hard here with 40 seconds to go. Harmon's got the underhook. Looks yeah, like look at he's going to go headlock there. Yeah, now Kellum's getting that desperate time here. He's got to get on the offense now with about 20 to go, Benny. Kellum with the only stall warning in the match. Ten to go. And Harmon's going to get the 1-0 victory for the Knights. Green! Ankle bands. And that's going to move us to 106. Thirty. To 21. Yeah, real good wrestling there by both heavyweights. Absolutely. Right? Both guys were active. We haven't much had a bad match all night. I mean, every match competitive, even in those first period pins. So it's Austin Decker for the Knights. And Alex McAvoy for Cesar Rodney. Good, man. McAvoy ranked. Appreciate you. Put on lock, shake hands, guys. Hey, Number luck. two in the state. And we're underway at 106. Alex McAvoy. Yeah, McAvoy's got to get after it. Often and early here. Right. Riders definitely need bonus here. Six would be He won ideal. a major decision over him at the uh, Warren Ashore down at Ocean City. Little guys getting after it. Yeah, they get all tangled up in there. Right. <laughs> we don't bend that way anymore. No. Uh, I'm not sure I ever did. Take down for McAvoy. Again, no, no correct answers yet. Who's the only coach in the Hell of a Conference to win four consecutive Coach of the Year awards? McAvoy with a nice single to change to a double Green, finish. Had the leg split there for a second with the turf. He's going to go one takedowns. He did a nice job last Friday against Caravelle running Neutral. takedowns. Neutral. 
4-2 lead for McAvoy. Decker in the front head position. And McAvoy doing a good job controlling that uh, right elbow. Decker's see if he can drag out of here and working his way out to a two on one. Keep it legal. Yeah, you'd like to get one more takedown if you're McAvoy here and finish the right. period on top. And that's what he's gonna do. Take down for McAvoy. Goes up 6 2. That's how we'll end the first period. A 6 2 lead for Alex McAvoy and he'll defer. Red. What do you got, Red? Red takes neutral, second period. Wait on me, guys, wait on me. Wait on me, back off, back off. Set, right here. Six two, second period. This and four bouts left. The Knights lead 30 to 21. Decker in on a deep shot. Or excuse me, McAvoy on a deep shot. Decker able to counter. And McAvoy looking to improve here, working his way up. Three-quarter Nelson being applied here by Decker. He's got his leg free. Let's see if he can score here, Benny. And he does. Take down for Decker. Yeah, real nice front headlock technique there by Decker. That's where McAvoy doesn't want to waste a lot of time here. He wants right. to either get a reversal or an escape real quick here. Decker happy to apply a ride. Take, eat up some time. McAvoy rises to his feet, turns in. Red, still control, still red. And Decker able to fight it off. Work to improve, work the score, both guys. Work to improve, work the score. 6-4 lead for McAvoy, 30 seconds to go here. Decker doing a nice job riding here. Good job with the breakdowns. It looks like we're gonna go to the third period one more time. Decker doing his job, keeping the match close. Yeah, real nice ride out there by Decker. And we'll move to the yeah. third. He's got all the coaches up on their feet clapping for him. Really nice job with the ride out. That scores correct, no warnings. No warnings, no cautions, so all right? Set. McAvoy takes neutral. See if McAvoy can get it going again. He here. needs to get cleaner. His first period shots were clean. That shot in the second period was overextended. And McAvoy able to get to a leg on the edge. Yeah, I think they're out now. They're out, they're out. out of bounds. A minute 32 on the restart. 6-4 lead for McAvoy. We're neutral. McAvoy with a front head position. Look that all came side. off of motion. Yeah, yeah good match. That level change fake and nice snap down. Probably wants to cut him and run some takes here. I think the riders would like to get bonus here. Right now, it's not looking like that's going to happen. McAvoy with a nice half, but good counter by Decker. Nice fight there. Sophomore doing a nice job here he for is. the Knights. Under a minute to go. Work to improve here. Work to improve. Work to score both guys. McAvoy's going to need two turns, and he's running out of time here. Right. Coach, 30 seconds. Well, after that second period, I think maybe thinking survive. But now with the takedown. Keep down. that legal. Keep that legal. Keep it legal there. 
20 to go. And the Riders get on their board, but I don't think it's the way Trey Mitchell wanted it right here. And as you said, definitely we're looking for a major, if not more. Right. So a decision for McAvoy. And that makes it 30 to 24. But the number one ranked Malachi Stratton comes to the mat for the Knights. So Stratton a big favorite in this match, but we'll see if Moffitt can do what Decker just did for the Knights back to that last I'll tell match. tell you what, if I'm a top guy tonight, I'm not taking anybody lately with what we've seen. Cole Moffitt. And Malachi Stratton. And we're underway at 113. 30 to 24 lead for the Knights. And I gotta get a quick stall warning. Nice shot right off the whistle by Stratton. And gets the takedown. Folks, your answer is Harry Rigby of Dover. Four consecutive Coach of the Year awards. Cradle master. Yeah. You got legal. Tight duel. Looks like it's going to come down to a finish. A real tight half there being applied by Stratton. Keep it legal. Adjust that. Readjust. Adjust it. Under a minute to go. Good job looking that off by Moffitt. That, that was tight in there. Central fans wanting a stall call, but Moffitt's doing everything he can to keep his base. Stratton looking for that cross elbow. Trying to lift it to near, li near, uh, near knee here. Let's see if he can lift, lift Moffitt up here for a near fall. Work to improve here. Work to improve. 15 to go here. 2-0 yep. lead for Malachi Stratton. <laughs> and that's how the first period will end. Right takes neutral, second period. Green, you have a stall warning, all right? You got a stall warning. Set on the line. Stratton coming forward fierce. Yeah, right in on that single leg. Nice yeah. Kelly finish, yeah. far side yeah. dump. Holding and he gets right. a takedown. Right, Moffitt, good job rolling through there, not giving up any near fall. He did give near it two. Ball. Still red. On green. Six one. Work center. Neutral. Work center. Shot by Stratton, gets in deep on the right leg. Stratton making the adjustment this period, going more yeah. takedowns. Right. No control. No control. No control. Two red. Two backs for Stratton. He goes up 8-1. Yep, Second there. period, minutes to go. Trying to work that cross elbow again. Right. Coach and staff yelling for the cut him. Yeah, there's the free release. See if Stratton can keep it New this goal. high pace he's had so far this period. Shot from distance, but he'll get to the back of the Cavs. This time, Moff in a little better position, but Stratton just down there, keeps moving, keeps finding the angle. Looking for that far dump there, far side dump. 
And take down from Malachi Stratton. Beast placer Stratton was at 106. They yeah, probably had time for another takedown there with right. 30 seconds to go, but now it's getting down under 15. They'll probably get the ride out here and take it to the third, Benny. Absolutely. Under 10 to go. And we go to the third period. Three. Bottom. Moff is going to take, take the bottom, bottom position. Set. Green, you have a stall warning. You want him up? And he's going to give him the free release here. Six, Six three. Good, good strategy there by Stratton. Right here, on the line. He's, he's got to start working towards the uh, tech. There's only two matches left after this. And you're keeping the uh, you're keeping the riders in striking distance. Yeah, Moffat doing a, a pretty good job for his team right here in this bout. And Stratton with another takedown goes up 12-3. Yeah, nice technique there for the ankle pick and then followed it right in there with the double. Looking to run the bar on the left side. Yeah. There it is, got it up on that hip. We call that the turkey bar when you get it up on your hip like that. Nice Granby roll attempt by Moffitt. And we go out of bounds. Minute 16 on the restart. Off it in the bottom position, he trails 12-3. I'd cut him again if I were uh, Stratton. Let's see what they decide to do here. They're going, to, they're going to have him work for the fall. Now that he's got the major. Granby roll by Moffitt, but Stratton do job following the hips. Folks, you're watching Delaware Live, powered by 302 Sports. Stop, stay on me. I don't like that. I don't like that. Set. Three. Five, Under seven. a minute. Top cover. They're going to keep him on top here. Nice action by Moffitt there to right, avoid the small call. Yeah. Stratton doing a nice job hooking that near ankle. That's going against the joint again. That, Might get another stop there. Stratton, the defending state keep champ last year at 106. Ranked number one in the state at 113 this year. He's just kind of riding that ankle there. It's There's the cross elbow he's looking for earlier. Under 20 to go. Stratton working hard here, but Moffitt just working just as hard underneath to right. avoid, the, avoid the turn. So that's going to be a major decision for Malachi Stratton. Which will make it 34 24. Riders still in striking distance, but this is a must win for him here. And it's uh, they're not favored in this match, although these two have not wrestled this season. <laughs> 34 24 is your t team score. And that brings out Nick Moore and Chase Murray. Little lock, shake hands. One hundred and twenty pounds. Out of that grip. Out of those fingers. Let him go. Let him go. And we'll end the night with two ranked wrestlers at 126 pounds. And Evan Cordry and Trevor Coast ranked two and four. It's improved. Improve here. Neutral. Let's wrestle through that, guys. Wrestle through that position. 
These two guys ranked in the state. Chase Murray ranked number three. Nick Moore ranked number four. At 120. They certainly might have a couple more matchups as Good the year goes on. State duels, conferences. Shot by straight on double legs attempt by Moore. And Murray trying to work that front headlock, but Nick Moore doing a nice job controlling the elbow. Wrestle through this. Wrestle through the position. 40 to go here in the first period. No score. You're looking to go cement mixer. Stalemate. And we're going to get a stalemate. Right here, guys, on the line. Zero, on, zero. Set. Shot in deep by Murray. Real nice double. See if Moore can do some he's of his the, funk he's here. He's got the, the head. Two, and gets out of it with a takedown. Can't say I've ever seen that counter See, before. I'll tell you, these two, I mean, just when you think you got them dead, they come to life, don't they? The two twins. Nick working a leg in here. Two freshmen with a bright future here at Caesar Rodney. Green, your choice, Green. So we move to the second period. Green to first. Red. More with the 2 0 lead to first. And Murray bottom. will take bottom. I want to thank everybody top for hold, top hold, tuning set. in tonight. Cover. And a Granby attempt by Murray. Go green. Go green. Easy there. Easy there. One and he's not getting the release. Good, good escape there by Murray. Neutral. Two to one. Another shot. That one from distance. So these guys are... More brothers are really good from wrestling underneath. A lot of people give up easy, easy takedowns here. And the Moors, uh, they do a nice job clamping, stopping their opponent, and Wrestle through it. actually Wrestle scoring through from it. under there. Me. Okay. And Nick, unfortunately, a win would okay. might not be enough for the team. That's right. They're he's, down by 14. He's probably going to need a major, yeah, barring some unforeseen incident. Like a flagrant at the end of a match? Yes. Like that. <laughs> we saw a lot last week. Right. Yeah. Another duck under attempt by Moore. Yeah. Yeah, Chase Murray really trying to free up that elbow. Really needs to bounce more here. Bounce his head off the mat. Try to free up that right elbow. But he's making good legal. progress Keep here. He's legal. got the foot. Keep that legal. Keep that legal. More able to come back around, get two hands on the legs. Probably going to get another stalemate. We are. Right there. 36. Don't lift, Don't lift that there. More brothers are so, so comfortable in that position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of us wouldn't be. Hands up. I know the hands fans up. behind us want to stall calling, but just got to remember, Moore's outshot him three to nothing. Yes. Besides the first Half shot, four. Moore's taking right. every shot. There's another nice single attempt. Good wizard and sprawl here by Murray. See if Moore can get this angle. 20 to go here in the first, second period. Yeah, nice cross face being applied there by Murray. Right, looks pretty nice, painful. Nice there. stiff one. Moore's just going to eat it. Yeah. Stop, stop. And we got a stalemate with 10 seconds, or 9 seconds. Easy, guys, easy, easy. Right here, stay here, stay here, stay here. I got blood green. A little bit of blood here. Off of that cross face, he was saying right. it. So blood time, uh, bloody nose here for Moore. Nine seconds, so he wants to get a good breakdown and end the period, and he has choice going into the third. Like you said, he's going to have to have a major for the, uh, any chance of the Rodgers win this. Yeah. He's really wrestling. Moore's wrestling. An excellent match here. As we said, for the team component, he needs a little bit more. Murray doing a nice job. But both, both guys. Super solid wrestlers, man. Keep good position. Murray could put it away with the decision. Yeah, Murray a junior, so. 
junior and a freshman. Yeah, a little bit more muscular, a little bit more experience. Right. As you said, these more guys, just, they're scrappers. They are. You're never, you. you're never safe until the buzzer rings with these two. Yeah, that's good. I just, Should slippery. I say the final buzzer? 9.4 on the restart. This is something you practice. You want to ice this if you're both call, wrestling. Call seven, seven yeah. seven Either you seven score goes. or nobody scores in this right position. Right here, but. right here on the line. And we got nine seconds. Nine seconds. Check. Another nice snap down there by Moore. It was. So we move to the third period. Bottom. Moore will have choice. He's taking bottom. He leads two to me. one. Bottom set. Hope. Covered. And run away in the third. Moore coming to a quad stance there. Both guys fighting under there for control of the wrists. See what Murray's trying to do here. He's got an inside wrist on his right side, but nice roll out by Moore. Free it up. And Moore comes to his feet. And drop to the leg, does Murray. Red, you're still in control. Red, you're still in control. Red, you're still in control. Good position here for Moore. He can just burn up some time. He's going to develop him wrestling right now. Yeah, Moore probably enjoys this position. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> there he is. He came out, he's got the cross Stop. ankle. Stalemate, no Ooh, Three down. There. I think if Kenny had been on this side, he may not have stopped that. Yep. Bottom set. Yeah, I don't think he saw that Moore had that cross ankle. Right. Hold, cover. Kenny Krueger done an excellent job here tonight. Yeah, great job communicating with he's, the And he's let the wrestlers so. wrestle. Not giving in to the crowd. Right. <laughs> A lot of refs would have called a few more stall calls based on the crowd reaction. <laughs> Under a minute to go in the third. 2-0 lead for Chase Moore on bottom for the Riders. Yep, nice sit. He's got to watch the, there's a little rake of the nose there and a suck back attempt from Murray. And Moore able to pull him on top. Yep. Murray's trying, he's got to create a lock, but he's a little bit high and Moore's got his and leg arm spray. I Moore's would not in, roll this about Murray. Yeah, Moore's in better position here. And Nick Moore. See if he can cradle this up. Yeah. With Three. the reversal. Yeah. yeah, good wrestling underneath there by Moore. Goes up four to one with 15 seconds to go. So the Moore brothers came to wrestle tonight. Both pulling upsets. Keep working, Keep working here. Keep wrestling here. Neutral. Stop, stop. And that's the match, four to two lead. Trainer. For Nick Moore, Trainer. Central Trainer, will that. win the duel. Shake hands, guys. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Right here behind you. That brings us to our last match of the night. Trevor Coates and Evan Cordray. Yeah, two, another two two ranked uh, wrestlers match up here. Number two, number four, and according these, to your rankings. And these two have a history that goes back to middle school. They've wrestled a ton of times. What's the lifetime record? I, mean, you have I a couldn't tell you. Record. They've wrestled a lot. And we're going to that. Or excuse me. Uh, Cope's going to that two on one. The matchup of 10th graders here. Yep, two, two sophomores. So with the duel off the line, these two can just be free to wrestle. Sweet nice single sweep by Cordry. Copes immediately that shin wizard. Illegal. 
And take down for Cordray. Phillips coming through with the reversal here. Yeah, a reversal for Copes. Yeah. Reversal. Yeah, real nice Granby Day roll by Copes. Nice job stepping Stop on the right. ankle. Center. 38 seconds on the restart here in the first period. Off to another good start here. A lot of action as we've right. seen all night long. We, haven't had a, we have not had a bad match in 14 bouts, folks. Bottom hole, top cover. Under 20 to go. Looks like looking Pierce in there was Cordry. Yeah, Cordry trying to sneak that in there. And we're going to end the first period two to two. Easy, easy. Good uh, uh, choice. What do you say? Central choice here in this last even number. match. Your choice. Cordry defers, it looks like. What do you got? What do you got? Red. Your choice. Bottom. So, going to take bottom. Top hold, top hold. Cordry usually tough on top. Set. But you have top to hit, hit by that Granby. Yeah, and these tight matches, but coaching staff probably wants him to get that one, one point escape. One point could definitely be the difference in this bout. And there it is, one point for Cordry, three to two. Neutral. These two will probably meet again in the conference semis, both losing to Watkins this year. Well, Copes one and one versus Watkins, but lost the last one. Yeah, I think we did that duel of anything. That's morning. right. Super duck attempt by Copes. He's trying to get the motion going. Center. Yeah. A lot drop in both yeah. directions. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Either, no. Manny. A right side drop and a left side drop. Cordra yeah. in on the right leg. Pokes with the body wizard. Yep, nice knee tap, trying to break Cordry's base here. Nice high leg over. See if Copes can extend that uh, right leg and score. Cordry trying to climb up underneath. Improve. Improve. Copes working hard to step over that near ankle. Cordry not in bad position here. No. He's got to keep his height. He's got to maintain his height. Huh? Switches off on the other leg. 20 to go. Neutral position here. If you stop, stop, and we're going to get a potentially dangerous. With 11 seconds to go. Copes in on a low single. And we go to the third period with a 3-2 lead by Cordry. Copes bottom. takes bottom. Bottom set. Cover. Cordry wanted to get that boot in. Yep, nice job with the camp trying to step it over. There he's got it in now. Let's see if Copes can counter him here. Keep that legal. Keep that legal 
Yeah, a lot of booze there, but the ref had to stop it. Yeah. Uh, Cope's, or Cordry's elbow was, uh, was going position. against the door. Yeah. yeah. Sw inside switch by Cope. Yep. See if he can dump Goes it. There's a dump it. A lot of times they'll pierce in that. Red, you're still in control. Still red. Still red. Red, you're still in control. Cordes are dropping in that single now. Nice re-attack there. Red, you're still in control. Cope's looking for a call here from the ref. Cordes hanging red. on that leg. Stop, stop, stop. Injury, free. Yeah, Nate was in a funny position there as he went for that switch, Benny. Cordry's head was in the way. So, minute seven to go, 3 2 lead for Cordry Copes on injury got, time. Uh, just let me know when there's a minute remaining and then 30 seconds remaining, please. Coach, one minute remaining, one minute. Could be another cramp there, Brandon. We saw yeah, the cramp against looking Watkins. Yeah, they're looking at the knee, though. Yes. He was spending a lot yep, of focus on the knee. Coach. Yeah, it appeared to be a knee when he turned into Cordry awkwardly. Cut. So a minute seven coming off the injury time. Hold on, top. Hold on. Bottom set. Got a minute seven. You set. Hold. Hold. Coach goes to the inside switch again. Grambies. So Coach to square up here. Nice follow by Cordry. Under a minute to go. Coach's got to keep himself active here. Keep moving here. Cord is sticking that leg in. Approaching the 30 second mark. Yep, get up to your feet there. See if Cord. Yep, Cord with a. He's got him broken down here momentarily. Good job by Coach building his base. Cope's trying to take that arm across his head. Down to 10 here, Benny. As the time winds down, Cordry's going to get the 3 2 decision. And the Knights get the 37 27 victory. Let me get that ankle bend. Good job, man. Good job. Folks, we're going to take a quick commercial timeout. We'll come back with an outstanding wrestler and try to get Shane Miller here for an interview. Hospitality, founded in 2004, when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also, the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Egg Spectation and five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. First State Orthopedic Statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. And welcome back to Caesar Rodney High School with us, head coach Shane Miller of Sussex Central. And Shane, 
We might have thought, thought close match, but I don't think anybody envisioned it going in this way. No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Talk about your guys tonight. There was upsets on both sides, and the upsets weren't just upsets. They were pins, and uh, you guys had to gut it out there towards the end. Yeah, I, I told them before the match, it, things aren't going to go our way. Um, we're going to hit adversity. Some, you know, somebody's going to lose that we didn't expect to lose. And I, I challenged the boys this week, who's going to step up, right? Who's going to be that guy to pick the other man up? Um, so, and, and some of those boys came out, and they picked, they picked right. us up. I got, from my, my, I got five upsets in this match tonight, like a couple going each way. Uh, but that's when you talk about adversity. Uh, you got to be able to wrestle through that. This is, I think we talked a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, and we talked about how this season isn't over until that last whistle in Smyrna in a couple of weeks. For sure, for sure. Um, it's a dogfight uh, every match, um, you know, and, and we've come out on top on all of these dogfights, and, you know, uh, we've definitely set the trend, and I'd like to continue that. Yeah. Hey, Coach Miller, uh, congratulations on the win tonight. Really impressive win. Thank you. Um, must feel good to lock up that number one seed for State Dulles. For sure. For sure, yeah. I mean, it's definitely uh, – it's nice nice to go in there with that number one seed. But like I said, um, anybody can beat anybody on any given day, especially this year. So You guys have dominated from start to finish. You got, you've held that number one rank, and that's hard to do, to go out there in, in matches uh, like you've had this year with the Caravels, the Slays Anims, the Capes, the CRs. Um, but you guys have done it, and we talked about this about a month ago. You knew you had a good team coming back. It was even a little better than you thought. Talk about your guys. Uh, my seniors. My seniors stepped up. Um, they, they've, uh, they've stepped up uh, from the day they stepped in the room. Um, they've continued to work. Uh, they've continued to lead. Um, and everybody else is buying in. And uh, it's, it's really been uh, uh, refreshing to watch uh, unfold as the season comes to an end. But we got to finish. You know, um, it's all fine and dandy to be ranked number one. But uh, just like I said, from when you put out those rankings in the beginning, we haven't done anything. So. Right. Hey, coach, just want to wish you good luck on in uh, next week's State Duels. And, I appreciate uh, it. just want to say I'm really impressed the second time I saw your team. They're very physical, and they really had a look of intensity on their faces tonight, and great job preparing and, them. Coach. And same thing. Thank good you. luck coming up. And one question, you know, we talked about you holding the number one uh, championship match tonight. You knew it coming in. I mean, a betting man, would you have put money on CR being 10-1 and one coming into the night with that young team? Um, I, I'm not. I'm never going to say CR that isn't going to have a good team. It's just not going to happen. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. So here you go. Uh, number one C tomorrow or Saturday. We'll find out. Probably got a little better view when Kate Russell slays Anum. Who you're going to see in the semis? I'm not even going to ask it because uh, I think right now any of these, any four of these coaches will tell you anybody is still anybody's game. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, Coach uh, Shane Miller. Congratulations. Thank you for your time, Thanks. folks. That's a wrap up. Our outstanding wrestler for tonight is going to be Jaden Drummond. With the pin over Waski, I think that was probably the, the difference um, in the match tonight. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you, Benny. Uh, that was a huge turning point uh, in the match. You had a lot of momentum, it seemed like, at the start of the duel, and uh, Drummond kind of changed it all around for the Knights. Right, and we could very well see a uh, – I, I think right now you're going to see this is your semifinal coming up in a week. I don't see how Cape – I don't see how Cesar Rodney gets to a two or a three right now. Uh, they could possibly, with a with a Slazian victory over Cape and Lopen, um, but you know you're looking at number one. Uh, your number one seed is going to be Sussex Central. Yeah, so they'll see each other uh, relatively short period of time, and we'll see if it's as wild uh, with the upsets uh, next time around. Well, we didn't have a bad match in the 14 bounce tonight. We haven't had a bad match that we've broadcast this year, and uh, that wraps up our regular season. But uh, we'll be back. Uh, We'll have some, not live coverage, but we'll have some interviews coming up at the state duels and uh, then the um, state individuals. Paul, thanks for coming along for the ride uh, again this season. Always a pleasure. Uh, appreciate your help. Thanks for inviting me. Uh -huh. Again, thanks to Ethan Mitchell and Kristen Mitchell. Uh, I'm Benny Mitchell for those guys. Thanks the for tuning in. The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live, locally owned community-based news, free to every reader, because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live, our state, our news, our home. The things that matter most 